Hey, what's up? It's Izzy here with I Do The Most, and I'm back with the Shining Force Nuzlocke playthrough. The last episode, we were challenged by Michela to defeat her forces and then meet her at her castle. Well, we blew through them niggas, so let's go check her out. Victory conditions. Defeat Michela when within 16 turns to receive Destroyer. Alright. See if we need to make any team changes. Nah, Chris, you can stay and you got that. Uh, well, heal too can heal from three spaces, so that that can come in handy. Um, first off, who can I bring in? Vancar. I definitely want my knights back. So unfortunately, Zylo, I'm gonna pull you out this turn. Guns and Domingo are fine. Wow, I'm going to pull you out as well. And I'll bring Ken back. Alright, here we go. Are you ready to begin the battle? Yes. So, Max, you finally made it here. Welcome to the Demon Castle. I'll say this, you have both strength and courage, but it won't save you now. You can apologize to my poor marionettes in hell. Come and meet your doom, Shining Force. Michela is the most powerful mage in Runefalls. Powers of light, give me the strength to protect my allies. Max, be careful with Michela. She is truly a powerful sorceress. She has no equal in all of Runefalls. The lightsaber, I've got to get it back somehow. That sword may help to restore my memories. Then I can learn more about Cain, my brother. Alright, so there's a couple treasure chests over here, so I'm going to send, oh, okay, there's one, so I'll send Vancar there. There's a couple up there, and a few up here, so we'll kind of split up as we need. Can I hit them from here? No. Alright. She tried to dip off. Oh, she's scared. Alright. Push everybody forward. At a reasonable pace. Um. Here we go. We'll use, uh, step first. To get our troops moving. Attack by one, defense by two, speed by four, HP by two, magic resistance by five percent. I love that plus three movement, that's clutch. Okay, hold up. I'm just a quick second to adjust to playing on here again. It's been a couple days now, so it's a, a minor adjustment is all. I get it. Uh, let's keep you here, because I don't know how far those, those bow riders can hit from. And I also don't want the gargoyles all swarming in. Trying to attack Chris at once. That could prove to be problematic. Okay, are you done? Bro, take this guy out for me. Of course, because why would you hit him? I'll spend 10 turns over here. I'm surprised that other one didn't attack, because if the bow rider beneath him could hit Max, I don't, I don't see why he would, wouldn't be able to. Alright, blue. Good shot, good shot. Attack plus four. I'll take it. Uh, 
Alright. Got our little infiltrator up here. Oh yeah, that's right. Freeze 3 can only hit one person at a time, so I'll switch to Freeze 2 to hit 2. Good damage, good damage. Alright, Diane. Take out one of these guys, hopefully. There we go. Good shot, good shot. And a level up. Defense plus one, speed plus three. Okay. Uh, here we go. We'll use... Hold up, how far does that cover? I didn't even know we had attack three yet. When, when the hell did we get that? There we go. Target four of our players with the attack boost. Plus five attack to everyone. All right, cool. Defense plus three, HP plus two. Good level up. All right, let's start pushing some of our players forward. I don't think we need that much help to take out some gargoyles. They're pretty low level enemies. Look at that big cluster of master mages. I'm gonna hit them with the, um, the laser eye spell. Get Max, nice and healed up. And yet again, I keep forgetting to use her, her heal spell during the turn that she isn't really active. Either way, I think she's right on par with where she should be. Give, uh, oh man, I forgot to equip Gunt's card. Alright, I'll give Blue an extra move. Since he can fly over those ditches and stuff, it's good to send our flyers out for the treasure chests. Because they can just come right back. Don't have to worry about any obstacles in the way. Okay. Diane's defense is getting up there, especially as an archer. And they all just clustered right there in that corner. They about to get hit with another freeze. Okay, so we can't go past. I, I guess that would be going through the wall if we did that. Oh. Found the power line. Nice. I might end up giving that to Guns because he, he's seeming a little underpowered. And he's supposed to be a heavy hitter on the team. How do I hit all three? Do I got to move in? There we go. I was like, what the hell? Why didn't it let me target all three of them? I'm guessing that Domingo should get a good level up off of this. Unless he just got one or something, I'm not sure.
Alright. Diane, use up them herbs. So you got 10 magic points. What can you use with that? Can boost someone's magic. If only Domingo was over here. Hold up. Actually, I can boost uh, Moloch's magic. So when he uses the laser, laser eye ability. Because I'm pretty sure that counts as a spell. Should be a lot more powerful. It's only 20% though for level 1. It was 50% I think with level 2. So it's probably 100% if it goes to level 3 or 75 or something like that. Where are you at? Did I skip his turn or something? I don't think so. hit them before all the enemies start moving around and stuff. There we go. Alright, do your thing, homie. Effect. Laser eye. I think that's the most I'm going to be able to hit, but I'm fine with that. That's six targets. Should take out most, if not all of them. Yeah, if it took out the Master Mage, it should take out all of them. Because I'm pretty sure they have the highest magic resistance. Maybe not. Or maybe it was just a low row. Because <laughs> one did 21, the other one did 22. That's kind of broken at this point in the game. I'm not even going to lie. I know as the game goes on, though, they'll get a lot more powerful, so it won't be as strong by itself. Attack plus 2, defense plus 1, speed plus 3, HP plus 1, MP plus 1. That's right. Counter. Counter. Alright, do you have... You don't have any rings or nothing. Okay. I thought he might have had the, uh... The one that increases movement. Yeah. Now I feel bad because Guns isn't gonna really isn't gonna be able to get into battle. I thought I used move on him though. Oh well. Whatever. Level 12, we got plus three defense on Gort. What do y'all have? Freeze two? Okay. Alright, we're fine. Nine damage. And we got eleven damage. Oh, what kind of what kind of item you got? Can I get it from you? 
My boy did a super attack. He really wants that. A lot of the time when they got like special effects or if they're doing extra damage, usually they, they have a uh, item that you can receive in battle. And sometimes you'll get the random drop of like herb or healing seed or angel wing or something like in the last battle. We picked up a couple angel wings from the enemies. But I'm hoping that we get his staff, whatever that was. It, it might be the same staff that Chris has equipped. I'm not sure. But I don't know if Black Mages can equip those. Anyway, let's see. Defense plus one, speed plus six, HP plus two, MP plus two, super Nova rose to level two. Okay. Good shit. Yep. Yep. Kill our boy Max. We got plenty of time. Uh oh, Bilal's coming now. There's three of them. I didn't even realize that. I thought it was only uh two. The one that's sitting on the throne and I... how did he have that much HP? I must, that must have been one that I didn't hit. Got an evil ring. And a healing seed. There's one more chest up there, so I'll keep him pushing forward. Might have a one-on-one -on -one with this Bilal over here, but I ain't worried about it. Blue get two turns, and he, he's holding his own. So, hit this nigga with a freeze three. Cake, goodbye. There goes our level. Attack plus three, defense plus four, magic point plus one, and learn D Soul. Alright. We'll go to this little spot right behind you. Get her pushed ahead as far as possible and get in attacking. Why not? Level up, attack plus two, defense plus three, MP plus three, magic resistance one plus one percent, and step rises to level three. So we got two level three spells now. I'll send Max up to get these items up here. While everybody else catches up. Because with that move, his high speed and decent movement on its own, you know, he should, he should be good. Let's get our boy Gort held up. Gain 10 experience, 20 HP. Got you. Got you. <sighs> Level 10. Attack plus 1, defense plus 3, speed plus 4, max HP plus 4, magic resistance 1 up 5%. And the clutch staff. That's what I'm going to call it. The clutch staff. Because that shit keep coming in handy. Alright. Moloch. I need you to make an imitation of Narsha. There we go. And Blue, you can take him. As long as he doesn't keep dodging. I don't think he's going to dodge everyone. There we go. Alright, so all he needs is one more hit. And, and we're good. Um, 
Attack, boost, step, aura. Let's use attack. Don't play on these boss boards. Cause they always got some little extra catch to them. Okay, so that was an absolute waste. Apparently they were already boosted. And he tried to sneak up on my boy Max like I didn't see him. Goodbye, sir. I should have saved that for um, Michelle over there. I'm kind of disappointed about that. Cause I could have used a better spell at that moment. Found the white ring and the shower cure. Alright. Um, I think only Max and my two white mages can equip the white ring. And the black wing can only be equipped by the battle classes, the warriors, and the knights. I'm calling it. I think Michelle isn't going to take more than four hits. That's it. That's all you got. Alright, now he's down. We can focus on the treasure. Blue is level 14. Our attack increased by 2. Alright. Increases attack power by 8. Cast the level 4 bolt spell. Okay. See, at this point in the game, we'll start getting uh, cursed weapons and accessories. And once you equip them, you lose control of your character most of the time. I'm surprised she didn't take that bait. I'm pretty sure Michelle's card was like the best one in the game. But if I'm not mistaken, you need uh, a white mage. I mean, not a white mage, a black mage to get the killing blow. 16 points of damage. Yeah, she, she doesn't seem that tough. So I said four attacks. Let's see if I'm right. Let's use a uh, boost on our boy Max so we can hit her with that supernova. With increased damage. Who do we have left? Domingo. Um make a copy of Domingo. I think that will take the other Narsha away because I'm pretty sure you can only have like one imitation at a time. Yeah. Found the black ring. So we got the evil ring and the black ring.
Hit her with that freeze three. Okay. Apparently she's just completely immune to freeze. Or probably magic in general. Since she is a magic uh, being. Oak two. They ain't do shit. That's all you got. I remember her being so much harder. I mean, aside from like my knowledge of exactly what she does. I just remember her doing much more damage than that. Hit her with that supernova too. Okay. Yeah, so it, it, she must just have really high magic defense. So that whole four hits is going out the window. It still shouldn't take long. Heal two. Get Gort back up to health. Um, I don't think that this works on bosses, but I'm going to just try it out. She straight up just dodged it. She she straight up noped it. Some free experience. I'm mad I can't get past these little structures over here because that that only get leaves you one spot to attack from. Other than your ranged people. I didn't even realize her magic points was in the question marks. I mean, it's over uh, 99 points. Too bad I can't do anything. <laughs> do I have a item of some sort I can use? Use level two aura spell. Okay, that works. That's basically uh. Well, I was going to say the uh, healing ring, but that's not true. The healing ring heals everyone, no matter where they are. But this works, too. Poor guts. Uh, Luke, let's get you out the way. So, do you think... Gort can take her out on this final hit, or will it be Ken? Uh, Ken going first. I don't. He's not going to take her out, but maybe Gort can. That bitch lived with one hit point. Attack plus two, speed plus two, oh. HP plus three. Do I have anything? Speed staff, cast aggress, increase evasion, defense. Alright. Does elude work? Okay. Apparently it does. I'm not really sure what it does, to be honest with you, but it works. So, I'll take it. Uh-oh. Okay. My man came all the way back from 
way back there for that last hit. Goodbye. Well done, Shining Force. A promise is a promise, Max. You may take the lightsaber. Hey, this is my favorite weapon in the game. Heroes, listen to me. Beware of Dark Soul. He is a far more fearsome enemy than I. He is the reason that Runefoss is now as it is. <coughs> my time is up, but if Dark Dragon wakes and plunges the world into darkness, then we may yet meet again in hell. I'll be waiting for you, Max. Until then, farewell. And we got the destroyer. I don't even know what that is. I want I'm curious. Michela was a worthy adversary. Yo, why is bruh acting like, you know, she was honorable in, in any stretch of the word? Like the whole time she was conniving as hell. Like at least with uh General Elliot and I wouldn't say Ball Bazak so much, but it, toward the end, you know, he you could kind of tell he was just following his king's orders. Same thing with Elliot, but she tried to make it seem like the same thing. But the whole time she was, I don't know, maybe then again, that's why she stole the lightsaber to get it back to Max. Huh, I never considered that. That's actually pretty neat. For real. Alright. But now, the lightsaber is ours. The fight has begun over the Book of Secrets. The key to reviving Dark Dragon. After a fierce struggle, the advantage belongs to Dark Soul. Is the mysterious mage truly going to revive a dragon that would destroy the entire world? And if, and what of the fight between Dark Soul and Cain, Max's long-lost brother? Beset by uncertainty... Max makes for prompt the land of the gods. I so it looks like this is the end of this chapter. And with the end of this chapter, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. If you are still rocking with me at this point and enjoying the journey along with me, I ask that you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, what we do here is play uh RPGs and add some kind of challenge to it right now. The challenge is Nuzlocke. So if you're familiar with Pokemon, you know you probably know what Nuzlocking is. But if you're not, then Nuzlocking is when one of your teammates faint. You can't use them for the remainder of the game. Now there are other rules incorporated into it when it comes to Pokemon, but on this, we're just basically sticking to that as like the rule of thumb for the Nuzlocke. But with all of that being said. I'm going to head out. You have yourself a good day. Peace.